Boksingero na mas malakas pa daw sumuntok kaysa kay Manny Pacquiao. Bugbog sarado sa hari ng mga boholano. You did something to Juan Manuel Marquez that Manny Pacquiao was not able to do. How did you do it? How were you able to knock him down? With a left hook. <laughs> well, you know, he can punch fucking harder. Huh? You punch harder than Pacquiao? Man, he's fast. Nah, he's fucking... Umaatikabong bugbugan muna ang naganap bago tuluyang makalasap kung gaano talaga katindi ang hari ng mga buholano alias King Cesar ng Pilipinas. Much determination and strength. And Katsidis runs back and lands another right hand shot. This is the birth of a... Bugbug sarado si Katsidis at muntik nang hindi makilala dahil sa tindi ng laban. A hell of a receipt. Oh, he's going for those action. Inside that Steve Wills has been stopped. Inihayag ng dating conditioning trainer mula sa team camp ni Manny Pacquiao na si Justin Fortune isang boksingero ang mas malakas pang sumuntok sa ating 8th Division King. At ito nga ay sa katauhan ni Michael Katsidis, isang uri ng boksingero na walang takot sa bakbakan, na nakahandang gawing palangga ang sariling muka, alang-alang sa ganda at kinang ng laban. Si Michael Katsidis ay kilala noon sa Amerika. Ito ang itinuturing bilang boxing superstar ng Australia. At para kay Katsidis, ang makalaban si Pacquiao ay isang uri ng laban na di dapat palampasin ni Inuman. Si Katsidis ay dating number one contender ng lightweight division kung saan sinaglit lang puntahan ni Manny Pacquiao dahil ang tunay na pakay ng Filipino boxing superstar ay ang pagharian ang napakaraming division. Mas lalong pumutok ang pangalan ni Katsidis dahil pinataog nito ang mortal na kalaban ni Pacquiao na si Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez kung kaya't nagkaroon ng malaking kumpiyansa si Katsidis na hamunin si Pacquiao. Ngunit isang Pinoy ang umeksena sa usaping ito na bago pa nga daw maghangad ng malaking laban ang Australian superstar, ay kinakailangan muna nitong harapin ang buksingerong buholano na may overall record na 38 wins, 23 by way of knockout. Cesar the Big Puncher Amonsot. Sa bakbakang ito ay parang bagyo na nanalasa si Amonsot sa Amerika kung saan sinaksihan ng libu-libong tagahanga ni Katsidis. Matinding laban ang naganap sapagkat mainit noon si Amonsot kay Katsidis. Dahil isa si Pacquiao sa tinitingala nito patungkol sa boxing. At para ating lubos na makilala kung karapat dapat nga bang labanan ni Katsidi si Pacquiao, atin munang saksihan kung gaano ginawang ube ni Amonsot ang muka ng Australian superstar, Michael Katsidis. Background, he's a southpaw as you see. And uh, incidentally, of course, Manny Pacquiao's case, he's a natural right-hander. And his best punch is his right hook. Remember, Pacquiao has been in one fight of the year candidate this year. And you see Katsidis going to work, punching hard with a straight right hand up the middle against Amonsad's southpaw stance. But earlier this year, Katsidis fought against Robin Earl and starts leading with his straight left to uh, counter the fact that Katsidis is in the middle of his stance against him. There's another bomb from Katsidis, momentarily drives Amonsad back. Katsidis likes to punch you and push you with... Now, I think he's got very strong legs as well, although Amonsad's are most notable. Exciting start to what could... Hard right hand by Katsidis, and Amonsad, who's been hurt by that punch several times in this round, waves... Katsidis in as if to say, come on, keep punching. I need my chance to counter it. Oh my gosh, what a straight right hand and a left hook from Michael Katsidis. Amonsat's impressive, but he's fighting against the tornado in there. The bombs he's throwing. It makes his fight good. Both guys have a lot of skill, but as soon as one guy has an advantage, the other guy comes storming right back trying to get the lead again. And it's Amonsad has made enough of a point with his right hook and straight left hand that now Katsidis, an interesting momentary change for Katsidis, who either has decided to fight at a slower, more cautious pace or has for Amonsad's punching power. I, I think that uh, Katsidis right now is having a right hand and immediately jumped forward for the chance to land two more. And also, I like Amonsad is landing one punch that I love from Southpaws, which is a right uppercut. And there's blood flowing from the right nostril now of Michael Katsidis. And what a right hand. Oh, my God. Amonsad leaned into it, and Katsidis targeted it perfectly. Ten point right okay? hand, right on the chin okay? as he was coming in. Are you okay? Yeah. Fox. Katsidis races across the ring and jumps into position to fire another right hand. I'm inside at the last second, saw it coming. 
This is the mentality of the pure knockout puncher. Katsidis doesn't care what's coming back at this point. But Katsidis' left eye is closing rapidly. <laughs> Uppercuts now from Katsidis. Trying to set up another big right upstairs by firing his right hand up face to try to protect. He's trying to protect himself now. And Amasa seems to be very relaxed, very comfortable in the situation right now. Outside for the one knockdown, he's really setting the tempo and controlling the fight. He is leaning in to try to shorten yeah. the distance. Yeah, but Casita's very, very effective with short punches in there. Yeah, and so now Amasa starts trying to go to his uppercut. Cassidus's blood is going to start showing up in Amonsat's hair. Blistering battle along the road down the stretch of round three. What a brutal fight. There's the knockdown, and what a terrific, perfectly targeted right hand shot by Cassidus. His power punches in every round. That time, Amansat, 26 out of 52. Two rounds to one, 29, 27, Michael Katsidis. Maybe put something to cover the eye area in case some of the coagulants drift down into the punching with more power than most of the modern heavyweights that you see. Once again, we're in the lightweight division. Two young fighters, either of whom could rise to be a major league destroyer in this weight. Outside yeah, of Casitas' left foot, and, and it's enabling him to hit that eye even better than he would normally be able to do it. And Casitas' vision out of the left eye, and he has gained tactical control of the fight. And right now... So many times in 20 years of calling fights, Emmanuel, punchers quite often don't have plan... Jim, I honestly don't see that. I think that... that there's some wear and tear there, obviously. It's been a tough fight. There's but I think, right like, hand. right there, Casitas is throwing with everything he's got when he's throwing. Well, those two right hands, certainly. Oh, right hand by side is a little bit more aware now of Casitas' <laughs> extreme dependency on the right hand, too. This is a good round for Casitas. Casitas has reestablished himself as a force in the fight this round. And clearly being a little bit lost at sea. Okay, and round four, warning. superior boxing skill. Yeah, he's doing a variety of different things now. But as Amonsat starts to get confident and open up, he creates a couple of opportunities, and Katsidis oh, immediately right jumps cut. on the opportunity to land the right hand. Amonsat with a huge uppercut down. Here you see, starting at round two, no particular one punch, but just a variety of different punches that's coming from Amasad. And that, as a result of that, that's why you see all of the facial damage has been did. Just continually just landing punches, particularly a lot of the right hand punches. Jabs, right hooks, right uppercuts, left hand leads, right jabs. Are behind, you need to pick it up a little bit. Smith may be, or he may simply be saying, we've lost every round since then. Yeah, but in whatever way, I think that is a turn in either one of these corners. Because the fight right now should be pretty much close to dead even. Our Brown cat seat is 20 out of 43. Amonsad 17 out of 39. Not much to choose between the... And he's throwing real knockout bombs with both hands. Well, and if he ever managed to get a fight against Juan Diaz, the baby bull, uh, I mean, I'd pay big money to see that fight. Because Juan Diaz is as exciting as any American fighter. Fight. Never takes a break. Juan Diaz coming off uh, a stirring victory over Asselino Freitas a couple of months ago and looking toward a possible weight division. Julio Diaz of Coachella, California, later on this. Changing the game plan, having the discipline to stick with his game plan. Casitas is fighting much closer, and that's making a big difference. This is not the kind of fight you'll see. Listen to me. Tommy Box numbers found a huge round for Michael Katsidis in the sixth, landing 31 out of 56 punches overall, every single one of them a power shot, every single one thrown with knockout in context of the scoring of the fight. Hard right hand by Katsidis. It's amazing how he seemed to have got new energy and new spirit and punching with so much authority and firepower. And he's taking control over the fight all over again. And I think Amonsat didn't expect Katsidis to be able to come. Bad hands. And 
fought a lot of his fights with both hands bad. Even and going Jeff into was in the a fight. lower weight class than this. Yes. He was a, a featherweight fighter. Yeah, yeah, he was a he was fought down 100. Such a pressure fighter as Fennec was, I don't think, but has that same kind of fighting spirit. But not as consistent either. Jeff fought, was continually fighting all the way through. Amon Sat, 134 out of 438. On Harold Letterman's card, Katsidis lengthens his in round number eight. Saw caught him with some good uppercut. Very, very strong guy. What's compelling is you see that when you see the triumph. Little left hook by Katsidis. There's the big shot. A straight right hand. There's the that's, jab that's that could jab. win the that's fight for Sat if he would go back to it more often. A jab and a little footwork. Thousand dollars is now going to be held in abeyance. Uh, awaiting a hearing Monday with the Nevada State Athletic. Him off to the side at the same time that you punch. Henry Massey was good at that. You hit the guy and push him off. See, this may well be ahead on the scorecards, Emmanuel, as he is on uh, Harold Letterman's scorecard. But how much urgency is the right eye to cut up the left eye? Uh, Zar Abbott stopped wings by a technical knockout. That's about as strange as you can get. Six to three, Katsidis. What a chin Amansat has shown, taking shot after shot after shot from Katsidis. What a powerful desire to finish it right now. Katsidis is demonstrating as he lets his hands go and gets the knockdown. Amansat looking at his corner, but his job is clear. Stay on his feet and keep fighting. No one punch, just overwhelming with just with so much determination and strength. And Katsidis runs back and lands another right hand shot. This is the birth of a special fighter here in Michael Katsidis that you're watching. Unbelievable timing, and Turo Gatti, Arturo Gatti retired a week ago. And he's ahead on the scorecards and simply wants to avoid damage, at, but he bought two minutes. And that was the key. You know the neighbor well says an axe, he has the end. <laughs> Referee will allow Michael Katsidis to fight one more round. He is poised to pull off one of the most dramatic victories you could possibly oh, see. in history. Safety round. He's going to come out far and expect the biggest rush you've had for a long time, OK? All right, I want everything. In his book of memories as a cut man, punches in round 11, Katsidis 421. I'm in season. I had drama in Las Vegas as Michael Katsidis seemingly thoroughly blinded by damage done to both eyes from the punches of Sar Amansat tries to work his way through what would be an ex that uh, Katsidis is clearly a special fighter. The question as to quite how special thing that he's done. You know, there, there's some booing from the crowd, and I'm not sure what it is crowd. they're booing. <laughs> there he goes again. And he's closing the show. Stop! Less than a minute to go, oh, Katsidis see his blood all through his hair. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy loser. Don't, yeah, don't ever scratch on his face, the, the loser. Katsidis looks the part. He looks the way boxing fans like their prize fighters to look at the end of a grueling fight. And he throws punches down the stretch and makes it to the finish line. And the two fighters embrace each other and beated the putting pride of Queensland, Australia. Katsidis the Great! So welcome sa ating commentary podcast. At napanood natin kung paano natalo ang ating kababayan sa pinakamalakas noon ng Australia na si Michael Katsidis. Sobrang dikit ng fight. At lamog na lamog na yung mukha nung katunggali ron. Pero dumako tayo dito sa paghihigante ni Cesar Amunsot kontra sa kababayan ni Michael Katsidis na taga Australia. So ang kalaban niya po rito ay si Steven Wills. At nakataya po dito ang isang uh, Pan-Asian Boxing Association ng Super Lightweight. So bakante po iyon. So si Cesar Amunsot po rito yung may mahabang buhok. Habang ito namang naka-red gloves, eh, ang kanyang katunggali na si Steven Wills na ipinagmamalaking prospect ng Australia. So ilang years ang lumipas bago lumaban si Amunsot sa lugar na ito. At kitang-kita naman natin yung laro dito ng kanyang katunggali. No? 
may talento, parang Ricky Hatton yung galaw. Pero bagamat uh, maganda yung foreman ng Ricky Hatton, a.k.a. si Steven Wills, ano? Eh, ang daming pangontra dyan ng ating kababaya. Tulad niya, no? Sinasalubong niya yung mga suntok ng Steven Wills. At napakagaling magpatama nitong si Cesar Amunsot. Talagang ambigat po ng kamao niya, no? Para ho iyang si Edwin Balero nung Pilipinas. Talagang mabigat po kung sumuntok. Kaya kahit si Ed, uh, si Michael Katsidis, pumutok yung muka eh. Dapat TKO na yun si Michael Katsidis eh. Kaso, malaki ang uh, paghanga sa kanya ng promoter na yun. So medyo may uh, problema rito. No? Mukhang mayabang pa oh. Yung Steven Wills. So ating tonghayan yung uh, kahihinat na ng bakbakang ito sa dulo. Oh, nice punch. Ang bibigat to ng mga pinakawalan ni uh, Cesar Amunsot. At yung estilo ni Stephen Wills, talagang haton na haton. Eh. Oh, yakap ng yakap. At walang uh, masyadong depensa itong si uh, Stephen Wills. Kaya dikit po ng dikit yan. Talagang haton na haton. Ano? Tignan natin kung paano babara. Uy, binawasan doon si Cesar Amunsot. Ganyan po kabayas. Ganyan kabayas sa abroad, mga brother. Abangan natin yung gagawin dito ni Cesar Amunsot. Dahil sigurado talo to sa puntos eh. Talagang kitang-kita natin yung laro ni Hatun dito, no? Na suntok, yakap. Kasi magaling si Hatton sa ano eh, sa mid-range lang eh. Kaya may na-maximize nung uh, Steven Wills yung kanyang, uh, kanyang tactic. Uy, tinamaan! Ang bigat doon nung suntok ni uh, si Isar Amunsot. Ang tanong, kayang-kaya bang i-bypass ni si Isar Amunsot yung galaw ni Hatton? So next round... Medyo unpredictable yung galaw dito ni Cesar Amunsot, ano? Parang uh, slow starter yung galaw, pero habang tumatagal, lumalakas yung bumibigat yung suntok, eh. Eh, no, pak! Kala mo walang dating yung suntok, pero yung impact ho niyan, eh, napakalakas, oh. Namamaga na nga ho yung uh, mukha ng kalaban dito, no? Pinaghalong Kelly Public tsaka Ricky Hatton yung galaw nito ni Steven Wills. Actually, maganda naman. Okay din naman para sa akin. Kaya challenge to sa Pinoy kung paano niya iba-bypass. Uy, nice punch. May mga suntok sa bodega ron, si uh, Cesar Amunsot. Uh, mukhang uh... Oh, nice punch Ang galing magpatama ni Cesar Amunsot Kaya lang medyo matabang no? Kala mo matabang yung uh, atake niya Pero mabigat ho talaga yung suntok niya Tulad niya no, pak Talagang kinakawawa ni Cesar Amunsot At napayakap doon Si Steven Wills na galawang haton Ayaw bumitaw, nasakta ng maigi. At yung referee, no, napakabagal kumilos. Talagang bias na bias. Kala nyo kanina ho, no? walang, uh, walang palagtong Pinoy kasi slow starter. Eh. Pero tignan nyo ho. Talagang dinidiktik sa corner. Oh! Ang bigat ho ng mga kamao niya ni Cesar Amunsot. Yan po ang uh, Edwin Balero ng Pilipinas nung araw. Sa tigas po ng kanyang kamao. At hilong-hilo na rito yung uh, Steven Wills. Talagang pinapaliguan at lahat tumama. Pero matigas din itong Steven Wills. Ano? Abangan natin yung dulo, brother. Kasi ito ang tinaguri ang paghihiganti ni uh, Cesar Amunsot sa kanyang uh, pagkatalo 
sa kanilang star player ng Australia. At pumapalag pa rin itong Steven Wills. Ang problema, walang tactic kayong Steven Wills. Eh. Legit na slugfest ang gusto, pero yakap. May yakap. So yan, pinapunta sa doktor. Dahil yan po yung binabanggit natin kanina. Nakala natin, eh walang dating yung mga suntok ni Cesar Amonsot. Pero, grabe ho, yung impact sa suntok ng ano, mukha ng kalahaban. Namamaga. Oo! Ang ganda palitan na agad doon. Hindi common yung galaw rito ni Cesar Amonsot eh. Kasi para bang walang estilo eh, no? Walang style. Basta suntok lang ng suntok. Ayan o. Pero ang galing mag-sway ni Cesar Amonsot doon, ano? Para siyang may pagka-genreel kasi mero. Yung kala mo walang dating sa ring, pero pagka umataki na, napakaganda yan, no? Pak, pinapaliguan ng suntok. Ganyan si genreel, eh. Tahimik, no? Sabay pag tumama, yan, tsaka alam magwawala. Pak! So abangan po natin, brother. Huwag kayong malilingat sa bakbakang ito. Huwag na huwag po kayong malilingat. Okay? Oh! Nice punch! Tinamaan doon ng solid. Itong uh, galawang Ricky Heat Manhattan. So nakabawi po. Ang ating kababayang si Cesar Amonsot kontra sa Bansang Australia. So maraming salamat sa lahat ng tumangkilik ng ating throwback fight para sa hari ng mga buholano nung araw. So mabuhay kayong lahat brother at maraming salamat sa pag-like at share ng video na ito.